Once you've removed the fan panel of your RS21 or your SRS model, you should see something like this. Um, now if yours is covered in ice, the best thing to do is put a couple of big towels down the bottom of the fridge and uh, pour a lot of hot water all over the panel here just to get rid of all the ice. Making sure that the drain hole over here is nice and clear. If you don't manage to unblock that, you will get trouble when you build the components back up. Uh, that drain hole needs to be clear, so it's something that's uh, quite important to make sure that's clear. Um, personally, we I use a steam gun, uh, but you can use hair dryer, hot water, whatever's uh, available to you. But uh, you really got to make sure that is clear. Now. It does look as though there's quite a lot going on here. Basically we've got a defrost heater, a drain heater and two sensors. Um, you might be looking at it saying where do I start? But basically um, what I do is I just unplug all the wires up at the connector block. That's this component up here. Don't worry about putting it back in, you can't go wrong, all the plastic connectors are keyed so you can't physically put them in the wrong way. So don't worry about disconnecting all that. What I tend to do next is, as you'll see in this one there's uh, already a little drain modification clip here. Uh, yours might have that, 9 times out of 10 it won't have it. Basically I'll just pop that off just now. It's really just squeezed on with a pair of long nose pliers. I just need to bend the clips out a bit to get that off. Now, what you want to do is uh, go up and down these little lugs that are on the right hand side and on the left hand side. That's how the main defrost heater is held in place. Uh, if there's any cable ties, as well just to cut them. There's one up here. Cut that. Um, what most folk use is a pair of long nose pliers to go up and down the defrost heater. Um, I find it a bit easier to use a pair of snips. They tend to grip the little lugs a bit easier, so basically what you're doing is going up and down. I do the top row first, all the lugs on the top, I bend them just slightly. You don't want to bend it too much because you are going to have to refit these little lugs back on. Just go up and down. It can be a little bit tricky. Uh, and then do the same from the bottom side, go along all the bottom lugs. That's that side. Um, I'll try and zoom in on this side just to give you a better idea. Basically, your you're putting along those the or your snips on the little aluminium lug and just twisting it slightly up and away from the element. Now that probably is the most trickiest part of the whole job when you're doing this RS21 or SRS21 repair kit. It actually looks a lot worse than it is to do. Now, once you've sort of went up and down and made sure all the lugs are away from your element, the element really should just pull away. Just make sure you've not got any cable ties still in place. If it's a bit tight, it's possible that you've not released all the lugs. And once you take the element away, you'll sort of see where all the plugs are. Now the element itself is plugged, double plugged with the drain heater. 
So there's a wire coming up here from your drain heater and it's connected to the defrost heater and then the both of them are plugged in to the connector up here. So once you get the actual defrost element out the road, the cooler starts to look a bit more simpler. There is only three other items on here. There's a defrost sensor. Uh, basically, you need to use a little plastic clip again, so watch don't break it. I generally just put a flathead screwdriver in and pop, pop it open. Try and zoom in a bit there just to give you a better idea. Just pop the plastic bit open and the defrost sensor will come out there. Another component we've got here is the thermal fuse, which as you can see, it's plugged into the top connector, it runs right down the side here and right to the back. That's very important that you put that thermal fuse right to the back. Some of the older models, the thermal fuse was sort of positioned in the middle. Don't make that mistake, you have to reposition that thermal fuse exactly where you see in this video here. It's right at the back. To get the thermal fuse out, you can just pull the cooler forward slightly. Put on a little, little plastic clip up here and a little plastic clip down there. It does give you access to get behind and get the thermal fuse out. That's your thermal fuse there. Um, the older thermal fuses, you might find you don't have any of that foam on it. Um, but the new ones come with the foam, so keep the foam on it and put it right to the back. So if you like, between the pipes and the plastic casing. The last thing that's on this cooler is the drain heater. Basically, just pop it out. Make sure the little pink wires come out the drain hole. It can be a little bit tricky. There's a little pink wires, uh, they're supposed to go down the drain hole. Uh, basically what they do when this heater is working properly is keep the drain hole clear so no ice gets builds up on it. If you're trying to remove the drain heater and it's quite resistant, it's probably there's still a lot of ice in the hole and it's freezing these wires. But again, make sure you pour hot water or steam down. Once you've got it all clear, this will lift straight away. Really? All you're left with now is the actual cooling component where your refrigerant will run round.